And now we need to proceed to our next topic, which is like PTSD, which means post traumatic stress syndrome. What is like post traumatic stress syndrome? It occurs after a terrifying ordeal, or and it's a mental disorder that can develop to a person which is exposed to traumatic event like um, such as sexual assault, warfare, um, traffic collision, child abuse, or other threats to a person. Now, let's take a look and let's discuss what's happening in anatomy. Okay? So, based on like what we discussed before, what region is affected, it is the amygdala, right? So let's find let's find out if it's still um, this region is affected on this um, kind of syndrome. So research research find out that based on the brain imaging in post traumatic um, stress syndrome disorder, okay, um, they have identified a few um, key brains. Uh, region where is um, the function appears to be altered in PTSD. So what is the region that is like um, altered or been affected? So it's probably the amygdala. So this is what the research find out. Okay, the amygdala has um, the, the amygdala is um, the one that is affected in this region, and then. Um, it is the part of the brain they said which is named like ventro uh, the ventro medial prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus are one is like are the affected side in the brain so we know now that the amygdala is still um the one that is like um the one that is like um responsible for the ptsd syndrome now let's go for the physical symptoms that um, our patient is having because there are like a physical symptoms and emotional symptoms of the patient that is having a, um, a PTSD. So one of the physical symptoms that is like um, they, they're gonna feel is uh, first they will have a headache. And then it will lead to gastrointestinal GI. They will also have the immune system immune system problem. And then they will have a dizziness, chest pain, and discomfort for other parts of the body. Now let's uh, let's try to discuss what are the signs and symptoms of, of a PTSD patient. First, they will have like um, emotional numb okay especially those with whom the person used to be close to okay difficult to trust again okay so difficult to trust trusting feeling close to people next we have um next we have um problems being affectionate okay um feelings of intense guilt they are written Irritability, because um, some uh, some patient that's having a traumatic syndrome, they are more irritable. On, on that in that in this case, avoiding situation that remind the person of a harmful event. They don't want we don't want to discuss or we don't want for for them to for them to um, to to. What they call it? They they don't want to to remember what happened on on their past. Okay. Next, um, difficulty around the anniversary or harmful event. Of course, like get mad easily. So it also like irritability, problem sleeping, um, increasingly aggressive and violent. Okay. So that will be the signs and symptoms of the PTSD patient. Okay, let's go to our management and diagnostic 
medication which is like the doctors can prescribe and the management like the therapy that we, we just discussed before in our in uh, some of the mental disorder so one of the um, of course one of the popular thera therapeutic management is the CBT okay so it's a type of therapy of course that aims manage a problem of a patient and how they think and they act second is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing and then group therapy it helps for them also to recover more if you're gonna talk to them okay then now let's do and discuss some of the psychiatric doctor that can prescribe to a patient with a PTSD of course, it involves the antidepressant drugs, anti-anxiety drug, which is, this is the popular one, which is Zoloft, Paxil, and Catapress. So, there you go. Um, we just like discuss um, the PTSD, the, the anatomy, the um, signs and symptoms, and how to manage uh, with a patient with a PTSD. Thank you for watching.